Hello, and welcome to the Campbell Hall Class of 2020 graduation ceremony. To hear the program, please tune your car radio to 88.7 FM or 99.1 FM. You can also listen through your phone by connecting to the hashtag Tribeca Drive Dash In Wi Fi Network. Then open your phone's web browser and go to listen.joincrowd.tv. Restrooms are located inside the Rose Bowl Concourse. Please use the entrance next to Gate A. The restrooms will operate at 50% capacity. We will have attendance, cleaning, disinfecting, and monitoring the number of people who may enter. In compliance with state and county requirements, we have established the following safety guidelines to protect our guests and staff. Social distancing of at least six feet will be enforced. Guests must remain in their vehicles for the duration of the event. No sitting outside of the vehicle will be allowed. Congregating of any type is prohibited. Face coverings must be worn when exiting vehicles to visit the restrooms. Out of respect to the neighbors adjacent to the Rose Bowl, please do not honk your horn or use noisemakers at any point during the ceremony. If you must leave during the event for any reason, turn on your hazard lights and wait for CH staff to escort you to the nearest exit. When the event ends, please remain in your vehicle. A CH staff member will direct you to the nearest exit. Thank you and enjoy the ceremony. This is one for the history books. Before the pandemic, you were already known as one of the funniest and most passionate classes, biggest 13-year student class, and now you'll forever be known as the most resilient class in Campbell Hall history. See you on stage in a few minutes, 2020. Class of 2020, congratulations. Today is such a great day. I'm super disappointed that we can't be together in person, but I will very eagerly uh, look forward to when you guys are able to come back and visit. You all mean so much to me. Uh, I wish you all the best. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. Way to go. I am so excited about your new journey you're, you're about to embark on. Know that you are ready. We are behind you always. And go out and change the world. I love you. Again, congrats. Take care. Class of 2020, congratulations. I'm recycling this picture of skywriting because I worked really hard on it and I know you've seen it already, but here it is again. Oh, the sky is the limit. Yay! Congratulations, class of 2020. Woohoo! Yeah! Congratulations, class of 2020. Hey, class of 2020. Congratulations. Stay safe and don't forget to have fun. Congratulations, class of 2020. If you can do this, you can do anything. Class of 2020, you are the most memorable graduating class of Campbell Hall history. Congratulations and good luck to you. We love you. To this amazing class, my best wishes in this new journey, congratulations. Dear class of 2020, we're so very proud of you. And as we send you off, don't forget that the world is going to need every ounce of your courage, your creativity, your compassion, your commitment in order to continue making change in the world. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm so proud of you. Wishing you all the best, follow your heart. Everything you need is right here. Class of 2020, congratulations. Go out into the world and do really great things. And to all the 13-year students, go out and make Ms. Memoir proud of you. Congratulations and good luck. Congratulations, class of 2020. Rock and roll. Congratulations, class of 2020. The grit and resilience you demonstrated this year has truly been impressive. 
While the future is certainly uncertain, I take great hope in knowing that great young people like you will be leading us forward. Best wishes in all your future endeavors. I know you'll do great. Congratulations, class of 2020. I miss you already. Wish we could be there with you. 2020, congratulations. Congrats, class of 2020. I remember first meeting some of you when you were applying as freshmen coming into our high school. And it's been a joy getting to know those of you who've helped us out as admissions ambassadors. And now it's your turn to head off to the next chapter in your journey. So we wish you lots of luck and we will miss you. Take care. Hi, class of 2020. This is Coach Buller. I wanted to wish you an amazing graduation. I know this year has been crazy, but you've done incredible. I remember all the fun times we had in elementary PE together, and I can't wait to see all the big things you're going to do in this world. To the remarkable and resilient class of 2020, I wish you the best in this coming year and years to come. Congratulations. Whether it be as an audience member or a band member of one of my classes, it's been my honor to share many musical moments with you in chapels over the years. I'm glad we got to spend at least the first half of your senior year together. May you all find a way to live passionate and healthy lives. Best of luck, class of 2020. Hi, 2020. Congratulations. Uh, this has been an extraordinary year and you're an extraordinary class. And I really believe that the future is in your hands. So no pressure and keep in touch. Dear beautiful graduates of 2020, I'm with you in spirit, sending you oceans of love and infinite blessings on your new journey. Je vous aime, los quiero mucho. I love you and I keep you in my heart always. Congratulations, the class of 2020. You're gonna do great things. Expect the unexpected and know you can do it. Class of 2020, we are so proud of you and excited about what the future holds for you. We will miss you so much at Campbell Hall and wish you all the best. Happy, Happy graduation, graduation, class, class of, of 2020. 2020. Congratulations, seniors. Love you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Great work. Felicidades a la clase 2020. Váyanse con la confianza de que toda adversidad les hará más fuertes. Que todos sus sueños se realicen. Con muchísimo cariño. Congratulations, class of 2020. Good luck. Unforgettable. That's what you are. You are unforgettable, class of 2020. You rocked it. I wish you the best. Mr. Solo says, congratulations, class of 2020. Hello, class of 2020. Hooray, you're graduating. Your class will always hold a special place in my heart. I wish you strength and grace as you move forward. Congratulations. Hey Vikings, class of 2020, you made history this year and you're gonna make history from now on. Go get them. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you and I wish you all the best in your next endeavors. Remember to take with you what you have learned at Campbell Hall and all the love uh, from Campbell Hall in wherever you go next, and I know that you will be a shining light in our world. Congratulations. Happy graduation, class of 2020. We're going to miss you guys on campus. I'm giving you a stealth shout out from Mr. R hiding in the woods. Um, I just want to say that you're the best. I'll miss you. Take care. Peace. Always, always, always have mad radical faith in the now. And we will find out the meaning of now later. Congratulations. God bless. I'm so proud of you. God bless you. Hi, seniors. I am torn between being proud of you, incredibly happy for you, and heartbroken not to be able to be there to celebrate this with you. Um, go forth, save us, and know how much we have loved being in your company. Congratulations. I guess this will have to suffice. I miss you guys, I love you, congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations class, class of 2020. 2020. 
We wish we could be with you in person today, but we are so proud of everything you've accomplished. We'll never forget your class. We'll miss you guys, and we wish you all the best in the future. 恭喜恭喜 Congratulations to class of 2020. I'm wishing you all the best in your future. And remember to keep up the good work, then you will do great things. And special love send it to you, who had a journey with me for years. 我爱你们 Hi, this is Mrs. Lanza. I want to congratulate all of the students in the class of 2020. It's been my pleasure working with you all since ninth grade, knowing a lot of you since kindergarten. I wish you all the best. I will miss you, and I hope you come back and visit. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Sorry I can't be with you in person today, but this is pretty cool. Have a wonderful graduation day. Have a wonderful freshman year. Come visit us often. Take care. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm so proud of you. Class of 2020, congratulations. Toutes mes félicitations. Hi, class of 2020. Congratulations. I miss you already. I wish I could be there to see you graduate in person, but. I'll be there in spirit. Please take care, best wishes, and stay in touch. Congratulations, class of 2020! You did it. Class of 2020, congratulations on graduating. For the group of you who I've known since elementary school, it's been a pleasure to see you guys grow into the people you are, and I'm excited for your future out there in the real world.、Um, congratulations, enjoy it. Hello, class of 2020. It's Miss Malone here, coming at you from an undisclosed location. Hiding from COVID, but I did want to be sure to wish you all the best in your future adventures. Find love, find truth, and have fun. It is time to learn how to walk. Find your balance. It may take some time. Remember to breathe. Feel the sway, but don't let it tip you over. When you think you are ready. Let go, baby. You are walking. Congratulations and walk on. Hi, class of 2020. I wish I could be there in person to celebrate you, but I'm with you in spirit. Congratulations and my love to all of you. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. Wishing you all the best in the future and all the new adventures you will begin. Congratulations, class of 2020. I wish you the very best in your future endeavors. Here's to new beginnings. Congratulations, class of 2020! You did it. Campbell Hall class of 2020, congratulations on graduating. We are so happy to share the excitement of your graduation day, and we are so proud of you. Congratulations to the class of 2020. It's Lisa Firestone from Admissions, and I just want to wish all of you a very new and exciting chapter in your life. Congratulations! Congratulations, graduates! Sending you a lot of first grade love. Greetings and much love to the frisky, tender-hearted, and memorable class of 2020. I am so proud to have been your dean. Congratulations! Hey, seniors, who knew a pandemic would get you a graduation at the Rose Bowl? It has been such an honor working with you, from squirrely ninth graders to resilient, funny, kind, world-changing twelfth graders. So, congratulations! Sending lots and lots of love from Texas. Class of 2020, congratulations on your graduation. You're about to embark on an amazing journey, and we at the Alumni Board are excited to support you every step of the way. I'm John Pollock, head of the board, and looking forward to connecting with you all soon. Have a great day, and congratulations again. Dear class of 2020, on behalf of the Alumni Board, I want to congratulate you on this exciting milestone and welcome you to the Alumni Association. Our goal as a board is to provide our almost 4,000 alumni with avenues to connect. Both professionally and socially, I look forward to seeing you at our next event. Hey, class of 2020, Eric Rasmussen here. I'm an executive board member on the alumni board in class of 1996. I'm going to be one of the first to welcome you officially as a Campbell Hall alum. And with this message, we just wanted to also add. Congratulations! Congratulations.
best is yet to come Dance out late in the pouring rain Never lost hope, never lost the flame And the best is yet to come We've waited long enough by now We've got a song and we should sing it out There's a spark Now with no regret And we 
Seniors, families, friends, trustees, faculty and staff out there on the web, alumni, distinguished guests, good evening and welcome finally to Campbell Hall's commencement exercises for the class of 2020. This ceremony traditionally features speakers from the graduating class and while everything else about this ceremony is different this year, we will keep to that tradition tonight. So let me just say a few words about this event. I would first of all like to honor and thank the Campbell Hall faculty and staff for their roles as they have stood so faithfully and lovingly behind our students for so many years. And if history is any indication, they will stay connected with our students into the future. The faculty couldn't join us tonight, 
but sent in their video well wishes and are watching via live stream, please join me in offering our gratitude for all their support and love. Graduates, your, your family and friends sit right here with you tonight laughing, applauding, sharing the surreal and poignant beauty of this moment. There is no doubt that the strong support from your family in your elementary and high school years has been the greatest and most formative gift that they could give you. So please join me, members of the class of 2020, in thanking your parents and all those friends and relatives who have supported you along your journey. Reach over and give them a hug. I also want to thank the tireless Faith Marshall and her colleagues on the advancement, high school, and operations staff for their unbelievable hard work and flexibility, as well as the staff of the Rose Bowl and Red Rock Entertainment for accommodating us so graciously this year under these extraordinary circumstances. As a bonus, with Keena Dorsey's help, we are live streaming this event for the first time in the school's history. And so wave hello to family and friends all around the world. We will honor several individual students tonight with those awards traditionally given at graduation. But for sure, the glory tonight belongs to the whole class of 2020. We saw that once again yesterday on the lingering Zoom chat after baccalaureate. You are a class that profoundly understands the importance of community, friendship, and love. As difficult as the spring and summer have been and as challenging as the fall might be, you will always have each other. I promise you the first physical reunion of this class after the vaccine is going to be a celebration for the ages. But tonight, even in our awkward air-conditioned car pods, we may celebrate the ties that will bind you together for life. The class of 2020 dominated all the other classes in the color wars, and now you dominate the pandemic. To the brave, bright, forever memorable Campbell Hall class of 2020, we honor you tonight. And now we on stage will stand in your car, bow your heads for the prayer of invocation. Let us pray. We give thanks for these final hours together in prayer and celebration. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your spirit, Lord, that we may be wholly present to and mindful of the fullness of each moment tonight and grateful for the blessings you give the world always through your children. We pray in your name above all names. Amen. Let us sing together the words of the school hymn found on the back of your program. Our hope for you 
days to come. Be thou our guide while life shall last, and our eternal home, and our eternal home. Reverend Ball, faculty, those here and those who are at home, we love you. Friends, students, on behalf of the Board of Directors, I'd like to offer my congratulations to the amazing Campbell Hall graduating class of 2020. I don't know if you're clapping, but uh, not used to speaking with cars. There you go. Before, thank you. Before I say a few words to the graduates, it's my privilege to recognize the Campbell Hall Board of Directors and thank them for their service. It is this governance body that confers the diplomas to our Campbell Hall graduates each year. This is a dynamic group of volunteers who love this school and who work tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure that everything we do is to benefit our children. They express and amplify our mission, a commitment to academic excellence and to nurturing decent, loving, and responsible human beings. And there is no graduating class in the history of Campbell Hall that more embodies this beautiful mission than the class of 2020. I wear two hats tonight, that as chairman of the board and that of a father of a 13-year 2020 Campbell Hall graduate my youngest of four, so I'm going to try to hold it together. If you indulge me for a moment, let me speak as a parent. Graduates, you are sitting in a car right now with people who love you so profoundly. I mean, we sent you to a school where the word love is in the mission statement. Our pride for you tonight is without measure. In fact, pride is just not big enough word to describe how in awe we are of you. Personally, I'm just proud to know so many of you. I've had the privilege of watching you grow up, and it's happened in a flash. To witness firsthand your artistry, your athleticism, your kindness, your decency, your charm, your great sense of humor, and most of all, your incredible spirit. I think the one thing that this class prides itself most is on your extraordinary spirit, your passion, your enthusiasm, your determination. Allow me to add one more word to that, indomitable. Indomitable spirit means simply you can't be stopped. Now, I know this year has been an awful year. I know how much you miss each other. Campbell Hall is a school that thrives on physical togetherness. So it's difficult to ignore the immense emotional toll separation has had on our entire community, especially you. Now, I know old folks like me will tell you we've had some pretty bad years in our country, civil war, world wars. But even in our darkest hours, we've always been able to hold each other, to stand together, to laugh together, to cry together, to learn together, to protest together, to mourn together. This year is unlike any other. But let me tell you that nothing can diminish your remarkable achievements. Nothing can break your bond. You are too strong. Your courage too profound. Your indomitable spirit cannot be extinguished by the events of this year. In fact, your light grows brighter and stronger every day. Masks and social distancing cannot alter your spirit or hold you back. As the late great civil rights legend John Lewis said about spirit, I want to see young people in America feel the spirit of the 1960s and find a way to get in the way, to find a way to get in trouble, good trouble, necessary trouble. You are precisely the class that will get in the way and make good trouble. You are the change we need in this world. You are the poets, the artists, the athletes, the scholars, the scientists we need in the world. You, the class of 2020, are connected forever. And though you may go your separate ways, do your separate things, live your separate lives, you will always be together. 
You will always have each other. You will always have Campbell Hall, and we will always be here for you. So to the spirited graduates of the class of 2020, I congratulate you, I congratulate your families, and I wish you Godspeed. Let your spirits soar. Thank you. Do
Welcome, Kemble Hall families and friends. I have the honor of introducing the three graduation speakers this evening, each of whom has made a significant impact on the life of the Kemble Hall community. Our student body president, Angelina Papa, was inducted into the Cum Laude Society as a senior, received the George Washington Book Award as a junior, and helped guide the student body with her grace, deep commitment, and confidence. A fierce advocate for social justice and community outreach, Angelina served as class president for three years and worked tirelessly to raise awareness. A leader in the Women's Rights Club, she participated in the Women's March, the March for Our Lives, and helped organize students for the National School Walkout. She led initiatives for the installation of water fountains that refill bottles, the elimination of plastic water bottle sales on campus, composting and e-waste efforts, and clothing exchanges. Angelina also brought her leadership skills to freshmen this year in her role as senior mentor, and her heart and humor to the five theater productions she participated in as World War II trumpet player, 1950s chorus boy, small town Texas teen, and of course, Prospera. Please join me in thanking and congratulating our student body president who will attend Vassar College, Angelina Papa. Well, this is a little weird. Hi, everybody. I know we're not supposed to, but just so I know you can hear me, can you honk your horns, please? <laughs> Thank you very much. It's been four months since I've seen all of you, and I was kind of over high school, if I have to be honest. I was ready to get my diploma in the mail and move on. But seeing you all yesterday in Zoom and hearing your words of wisdom and your stories, it just made me so grateful that we get to be together in this weird way, but still good to see everybody. So faculty, families, Hondas and Subarus, class of 2020, welcome to our drive-in graduation. Certainty, certainty. It is a feeling you have when you can depend wholeheartedly on an outcome. There was a time when we were certain we would be graduating in June. We were certain we would have a prom. We were certain we would never talk to any of our teachers while lying in bed. The biggest lesson I have, we all have learned over the past few months is that nothing is certain. Plans change. The future is unpredictable and any attempt at total control is futile. On March 12th, we got a taste of the spontaneous and uncertain nature of the universe. The world changed. Everything rapidly became stagnant. Our school year went from definite to maybe to over. Graduation was moved to the end of June. Then it was moved to August, probably at Disney Hall, back to sometime in July, possibly on the field. By this time, we had become so accustomed to change that when they finally told us we were going to be graduating on July 27th in Lot F at the Rose Bowl for an audience of cars, we said, sure, why the hell not? Now we're all faced with the challenge of planning our next year, our next month, our next week, knowing full well that our desires are only a part of the equation. So where does that leave us? Joan Didion wrote, I'm not optimistic, but I'm hopeful and there's a difference. As I see it, optimism is having confidence in the future and hope is the belief that fuels that optimism. I know that things won't turn out the way that I want them to, but I, I will always be hopeful. I believe that no matter how bad things get, change is always possible because we are that change. None of you are the people that I left on that rain and horror-filled Thursday back in March. I can no longer talk about the class that we were because that class no longer exists. Times have changed, and so have we. We have been forced to live this story while we write it. And while we may not know the ending, what I do know is that we are going to thrive. Despite being tossed into the apocalypse, you, 
the class of 2020 did not retreat. You've started businesses, created art, and connected with one another in new and profound ways. I've seen you fill the streets in protest. I've watched you demand for justice. And I know you will continue to fight for a stronger and more inclusive future. We can't go back, and we won't go back, because we've learned how to turn uncertainty into something new. When there is no clear path, we make our own. We are building a future from scratch. We are making something unexpected, something remarkable, and something ours. Happy graduation, everybody. It is now my pleasure to present the salutatorian and valedictorian for the class of 2020. These honors are determined by each student's cumulative weighted GPA for the first three and two thirds years of high school at Campbell Hall. As humble as she is bright, our salutatorian, Sarah Ohanesian, whose intellectual acumen and exceptional talent are as impressive as they are rare, has been a quiet force in our school community. She is motivated to make the most of every opportunity and her quest for knowledge penetrates superficial layers and aims for the core of understanding. Her positive outlook and can-do attitude allow her to face any challenges or obstacles head on without second guessing herself. Inducted into the Cum Laude Society as a junior, Sarah has risen to the top in all academic areas and spent hours dedicated to a wide range of courses, 21 of which were advanced level. She balanced her rigorous course load with four years on our championship tennis team. She approaches her studies with maturity and dedication, recognizes the importance of a strong work, eth work ethic and resilience, and is the type of student who makes the most difficult tasks seem easy. It gives me great pride to announce the 2020 salutatorian who will attend UCLA, Sarah Ohanesian. Good evening, students and families. A lot of you know me as Sarah, but all over campus, everyone knows me as Miss O's daughter. Shout out to Miss O and all the faculty we know and love. <laughs> Before I started at Campbell Hall in seventh grade, my mom promised that I would be receiving an exceptional education in an environment filled with support kindness and an endless supply of opportunities. She also said I'd be graduating at Disney Hall. At least she was right about most of these things. <laughs> Coming from an underfunded public school, I was in awe of everything that was available at Campbell Hall. Since my own father was unable to receive anything beyond a basic education due to a civil war in his home country, I have always felt a tremendous responsibility to work hard and make the most of my education and parents' financial sacrifices. Education is immeasurable and irreplaceable. Education holds power, is a tool that can open doors, create change, and strengthen our humanity. But when I talk about education, I don't just mean the skills and knowledge we learn from textbooks. I'm talking about the connections we make, the characteristics we develop, and the moral values we exhibit. We, as a grade, teach and share with one another certain qualities that I believe truly set us apart. The class of 2020 is never intimidated by a challenge. Never did I think that I would be able to do or be a part of so many activities, including tennis, dance, TV production, ceramics, coding, and engineering. We all were given the opportunity to learn and explore pretty much any topic we desired. Both in and out of the classroom, I could feel the ambition and competitive drive everyone carried with them. It may not have been obvious to my classmates, but these qualities enhanced my own motivation to participate. Well, maybe not so much in English discussions. As our ambition will guide us to achieve and succeed, I believe that our collective resilience is another trait that will carry us far in life. 
Campbell Hall has pushed me to step outside of my comfort zone and adjust to situations that seem uncertain or alarming. When caving at Joshua Tree in the dark, fearsome tunnels, I let go of my discomfort and learned to depend on and get close with the people in my trail group. One night in Moab, when the heavy rain was pouring and drenching our sleeping bags, I began to sing in my tent to change the mood. The loud roar of the rain could not cover our voices as other tents around us joined in. Being able to conquer the unexpected, you know, like a global pandemic, and even transform it into something positive truly reflects our resilience. And how could I talk about the class of 2020 without mentioning our spirit? From our legendary chants on the bleachers to our creative and wild behavior at each and every spirit day, it is safe to say we have no shortage of energy and pride. But this spirit and passion is evident even outside the Garver gym. We carried it with us even when our senior year was cut short and we were unable to join together for huge moments in our life like prom, grad night, senior retreat, and the last day of school, which without knowing at the time, turned out to be on a random Thursday in March. Yet, among all the distance from one another, we still found ways to connect and show our shared spirit through socially distanced picnics on the beach, Zoom, social media, and of course, the unforgettable parade. I am so proud that I was able to grow and now graduate with such an ambitious, resilient, and spirited class. I know we will take these qualities with us into the next chapter of our lives. Thank you and congratulations to the extraordinary class of 2020. Our valedictorian has moved gracefully through her 13 years at Campbell Hall with quiet determination and deep curiosity that motivates her to learn because there's always so much more in the world she wants to know. Inducted into the Cum Laude Society as a junior, our valedictorian, Kelly Grossman, is unafraid of any academic challenge and has taken a most demanding schedule of 18 advanced level courses. Many of her teachers cite her as the most accomplished student they have ever taught and applaud her genuine thoughtfulness, kindness, and helpfulness. In addition to her diligent work, work ethic and impressive ability to master content, she is an incredibly supportive classmate and dedicates herself to making sure everyone feels part of the community. Outside the classroom, she is a three-sport athlete, repeat winner of the Female Scholar Athlete Award, and has served in campus leadership roles, both as a senior mentor and two-time captain of the varsity girls soccer team. It is my great honor to welcome to the podium the 2020 valedictorian who will attend Hamilton College, Kelly Grossman. I cried through my first day of Campbell Hall. It was September 4th, 2007. I sat in Miss Anunziata's lap, bawling my eyes out in front of my new classmates. My preschool routine was broken and I was terrified of what this new scary school had in store. I have always been a creature of habit and so to comfort my kindergarten fears, I established new routines. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I would have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch. Tuesdays and Thursdays, it was a turkey sandwich. This was my comfort for 13 whole years. <laughs> Hairstyles were another opportunity for routine. Every single day of second grade, I wore my hair in pigtails. Fourth grade, I made the bold decision to grow out my bangs. Fifth and sixth grade, it was a ponytail and headband. As much as I love routines, they are never meant to last because things change. After sixth grade, I faced the challenge of leaving the rolly backpack behind to ascend the hill to middle school. I was no longer one of 50, but one of 118. And so I developed numerous routines in my desperate scramble to establish a sense of order, like hanging out in Miss Pfeiffer's room with my friends before school. And change came once again with the transition to high school. In ninth grade, 
My parents were no longer driving me to school, and I was at the mercy of my older brother, Keith. My arrival time would fluctuate depending on whether or not he decided to shower before we left the house in our not-so-speedy Toyota Prius. My old routines simply could not work anymore, and I was forced to loosen up. Although unconscious of it at the time, relaxing my routine and allowing for more spontaneity was beneficial in managing my ever-changing high school schedule. And looking back now, I realized that I needed that balance between forming routines and accepting change. While I found this kind of routine comforting, it may have tricked me into thinking I had more control than I actually did. And then there was a pandemic. Chaos ensued. All of a sudden, my typical drive to school became a two-foot walk to my desk. My classmates were no longer seated beside me. My lazy dog, Sonny Grossman, became my only friend to crack jokes with. Our entire way of, lear way of learning was flipped on its head as we spent most of our days staring at screens. It was hard to make sense of the fact that my well-established routine of 13 years had come to a screeching halt. But if those years had taught me anything, it was that the only way to adapt to any new change is to change with it. In his book, Consolations, David White writes, to have a temporary, isolated sense of power over all events and circumstances is a lovely, illusionary privilege and perhaps the prime and most beautifully constructed conceit of being human and especially of being youthfully human, but it is a privilege that must be surrendered with that same youth. When our class was presented with something as jarring as a, as a pandemic, we were faced with the reality that our world is in fact out of our control. End of the year traditions like prom, senior retreat, and graduation at Disney Hall were replaced with drive-through parades, virtual ceremonies, and lawn signs. While newly forged routines are helpful in managing the chaos of our world, we would be foolish to think that we have the power to control everything. And over the years, I have learned the more you're forced to face uncertainty, the better you get at dealing with it and learning from it. So, to my fellow seniors, we are more prepared than anyone to take on the world ahead. We are now no strangers to change and uncertainty. We have learned to embrace the unknown and adapt accordingly. Our ability to continue connecting with one another during this time, whether it's through Zoom calls, birthday parades, or socially distanced hangouts, proves our resilience. Although this was not the senior year we planned, we are stronger for it. The challenges we've overcome help prepare us for the unpredictable future we are about to face. Thank you. We now move to the presentation of awards. After each award, please join me in congratulating the recipient who will receive their award later in the program when they come to the stage for their diploma. The Community of Honor Award acknowledges the seniors who have served for two or more years on the Academic Honor Board and provided leadership on the board during the 2019-20 school year. This year, three students labored with passion, integrity, and compassion on the board that works to strengthen Campbell Hall as a community of honor by educating the school community in matters of academic honor and by hearing and making recommendations regarding cases involving possible academic infractions or violations of academic honor. It is with tremendous gratitude, respect, and affection that we honor these three seniors who led our academic honor board with distinction this year. Please join me in thanking our 2020 Community of Honor Award recipients. Devine Darian, who will be attending Sarah Lawrence College. Sam Strong, who will be attending UCLA. And Becky Wang, who will be attending UC Berkeley in the fall. Our four graduation awards represent the key ideas of the school's philosophy as it is expressed in our mission that defines Kemble Hall as a community of inquiry committed to academic excellence 
and fostering the growth of de decent, loving, and responsible human beings. The recipients of these awards are selected by vote of the high school faculty and are in no particular order. The Viking Spirit Award honors a senior who displays exceptional devotion to the Campbell Hall community by supporting and inspiring school spirit. Valuing connection above competition, the recipient of this award should consistently demonstrate the kind of leadership that encourages and celebrates the efforts and achievements of others. A constant voice of affirmation and support to her classmates, our award winner has been a kind, thoughtful, curious, and generous community member. Gifted with an amazing ability to connect with a wide range of students, she always looks for the best in people, tends to find it, and brings it out in them. As a senior mentor, she was understanding of and encouraging to freshmen just finding their way in high school. As a member of eight theater productions, she was always the glue that held the wild personalities together, according to Mr. Adele. And as president of the Urban Stewards Club, she was an important part of environmental and service learning programs throughout high school, and also found time to volunteer over 500 hours during her high school career. Interested, curious, and compassionate, our award winner's deep and authentic care for others drives everything she does. She has an incredible amount to offer the world and will certainly take her spirit and commitment to connection anywhere she goes. Our Viking Spirit Award winner, who will attend the new school, is Lila Susak. Congratulations. The Highlander Award is the Campbell Hall Service Award that recognizes school and community service, as well as campus leadership. Please join me in congratulating our Highlander Award winner, a young woman who has provided constant leadership and service to Campbell Hall and the greater community, and whose moving remarks we enjoyed earlier, Angelina Papa. The Headmaster's Award is given to a senior whose loyalty, spirit, and vitality have added to and will continue to benefit the school in years to come. This year's award goes to an intelligent, kind, and ebullient young man who always has a smile on his face. A true leader and diehard devotee of Campbell Hall, he gives endlessly in terms of effort, engagement, and enthusiasm. He commits himself to helping others whether working as a senior mentor or participating in charitable causes. Our award winner started the Haiti Club after twice attending the service trip, leading the charge in raising over $45,000. A creative writing fellow, he has been astonishingly prolific and diligent as a writer. He was also a joyful, energetic leader in our creative writing outreach program, where he constantly sought out new ways to engage students. An inspirational team player and role model in our theater program, he's been an actor and this year assistant director of both of our plays. Throughout his four years on the academic honor board, he embodied our honor statement, showing respect, compassion, and pride in Campbell Hall as he sought to educate his peers on the importance of the pursuit of knowledge and personal honor. Please join me in congratulating the Headmasters Award winner, Devine Darian. The Caledonian Award is presented to the senior who has consistently enriched our school community by commitment to academic excellence, service, loyalty to the school, and concern for fellow students. Courageous, talented, hardworking, intelligent, kind, and outgoing, our award winner's tireless energy and joyful curiosity make her an ideal student of life. With an abundance of energy and drive, our award winner devoted herself to a number of organizations that would leave most students exhausted. She has served in student government, on the academic honor board, on athletic and speech and debate teams, as part of our coding and creative writing outreach programs, as a student chaplain, and student diversity leadership delegate, and more. 
Inducted into the Cum Laude Society as a junior and recipient of the Bausch and Loam and Princeton Book Awards as a junior, she is a stellar student, a deep thinker, a voracious reader, and a warm and cheerful young woman full of gratitude for and devotion to building a loving community. Since coming to us as a ninth grader, she has immersed herself in and given back to Campbell Hall in every way that she can, and it has been such a gift to see her shine so brightly. Please join me in congratulating the 2020 Caledonian Award winner, Becky Wang. I'm Bishop John Harvey Taylor. Among the privileges of my proud association with Campbell Hall, which is a jewel in the Episcopal Diocese of Los Angeles family, is presenting the annual Bishop's Award to one jewel among many in the graduating class. This year's awardee, first of all, has been a stalwart in chapel, which is my personal favorite part of a Campbell Hall day. She's a superlative student and an outstanding, respected leader. And yet what people stress when they talk about her are qualities that don't get a grade and don't get votes, but are the only means of making truly great lives. They talk about her kindness, her joyfulness, gregariousness, her good humor, her generosity, and her genuine care for others. She faithfully represents Campbell Hall virtues of diversity, equity, and justice through her work in the community outside school walls. We know she will continue to do so wherever she goes and whatever she does. It is our joy to present the 2020 Bishop's Award to Becky Wong. Hello, everybody. My name is Jonah Shulman. And I'm Bryce Louie. Families, faculty, and friends. We are proud to present the class of 2020. Good evening, everyone. It's time to graduate. As I call the roll, I will also acknowledge various designations for some of our graduates. First, I will note the academic honors achieved by each graduate. Those who wear the gold cords are graduates with distinction who have earned a Campbell Hall cumulative weighted GPA of 3.677 or higher by the end of the second trimester of their senior year. Those who belong to the Cum Laude Society are members of a national organization founded to recognize academic excellence at the high school level, as Phi Beta Kappa does at the college level. Cum Laude certificates and pins will be mailed to members who do not already have these items. I will also recognize those graduates who have received awards at today's ceremony, I will also acknowledge those who are 13-year students. The class of 2020 has a record number of 31 students who have attended Campbell Hall since they entered kindergarten in 2007. Also today, some diplomas will be presented to graduates by family members or mentors who are current board members or board emeriti. Finally, all graduates, after you receive your diploma, please flip your tassel from the right to the left side of your cap. Here we go. Nathan Alexander Ashkenazi, 13-year student, graduate with distinction. Ethan J. Bay, graduate with distinction. Ryan Benjamin, Ryan Benjamin Bear, graduate with distinction. Ryan's diploma will be presented to him by his mother, board member Amy Bear.
Phoebe Grace Bayer, graduate with distinction. Bella True Barrent, graduate with distinction. Lily June Benardu, 13 year student. Ellie Micah Berg, graduate with distinction. Stop, stop on the X, get your picture taken. <laughs> Catherine Lauren Bauer, graduate with distinction, cum laude society. Jackson, Jackson Dean Brown. Stop right there. Get your picture taken. <laughs> J. Lawrence Brown. Peter Michael Desjardins Bull, 13 year student. Peter's diploma will be presented to him by his father, Headmaster Julian Bull. Madison Depew Burnett. Madison's diploma will be presented to her by her father, board member Ted Burnett. James, James Lynn Calhoun, graduate with distinction. Chloe Isabel Campos, 13 year student, graduate with distinction. Jack Joseph Candido, 13 year student, graduate with distinction. <laughs> Lola Rose Carino, graduate with distinction, cum laude society. Sabrina Grace Carr, 13 year student, graduate with distinction. Hey. 
Martin Sebastian Castro, graduate with distinction. Mateo Nicholas Selenza. <laughs> Purna Chugari, Chug Chugani, graduate with distinction. Kyung Suk Chun, graduate with distinction, Cum Laude Society. <laughs> Carolyn Bartlett Crane, graduate with distinction, Cum Laude Society. Elizabeth D'Alessandro, 13-year student, graduate with distinction, Cum Laude Society. Devine Aaron Darian, graduate with distinction, Community of Honor Award, Headmasters Award. Stand on the green. <laughs> Hannah Rachel Elias. Nicholas James Epolito, 13-year student. Declan Paul Feldman, 13-year student, graduate with distinction. Layla Gray Fernquist, 13 year student. Sebastian Sawyer Finch, graduate with distinction, Cum Laude Society. Joshua Carl Foreman. <laughs> Riley George Friedenberg, graduate with distinction, Cum Laude Society. Pablo Andres Fuentes. <laughs> 
Felia Elisa Garcia, 13 year student. Andres Antonio Garcia Lorido, 13 year student. Jack Garrett, graduate with distinction. Maxime Gautier. Alexander Noah Gertler, graduate with distinction. Khalil Kevin Glover Dodson. Jesse Hayden Goldberg, graduate with distinction. Tenley Linnea Goner, graduate with distinction. Harrison Wesley Goss, graduate with distinction. Casey Alexander Gray, graduate with distinction. Ellie Riley Grain, graduate with distinction. Elizabeth's diploma will be presented to her by her father, board member Tom Grain. Yeah, flip your tassel. Kelly Marion Grossman, 13-year student, graduate with distinction, cum laude society, valedictorian. <laughs> Margaret Claire Haas, graduate with distinction, cum laude society. Christine Jinju Han. Uh, 
Homer Heish Lafoon. Stop there. Maya Sarah Hesloff. Catherine Marta Hightower, graduate with distinction. <laughs> Dylan Michael Jett Hoffman, 13-year student. Meyer Amber, Amber Devon Hoffman, 13-year student, graduate with distinction, Cum Laude Society. <laughs> Margaret Christine Hutchins, 13-year student, graduate with distinction, Cum Laude Society. Bryce Aiden Jacobs, graduate with distinction, Cum Laude Society. Jelani M. Janice II, graduate with distinction. Lucas Vincent Jan, graduate with distinction. <laughs> Ivory Harold Johnson III, graduate with distinction. Michaela Reese Katz, graduate with distinction. Anna Rose Ellicott Kelly, graduate with distinction. Zant Kasheshian, 13 year student. <laughs> Kaylin Dayoon Kim, graduate with distinction, Cum Laude Society. Theodora Kopelman, graduate with distinction, Cum Laude Society. <laughs> Emily.
Emily Jane Kodik, graduate with distinction. Olivia Rose Landa, graduate with distinction. Alexandra Sidney Lappin, graduate with distinction, cum laude society. Amelia Eve Lassane, graduate with distinction. Eric Lemus, graduate with distinction. Joseph Nathaniel Light Rake, graduate with distinction. Bryce Hunter Louie, graduate with distinction. Isaac Montague Lubert. Francesca Gia Lupi, graduate with distinction, cum laude society. Brenna Claire Lutsky. <laughs> James Paul McPherson, graduate with distinction. Paolo Lorenzo Manlunas, 13-year student, graduate with distinction. Cassius Lija Marcel Green. Grace Milanis Markson. Micah Massman Johnson, graduate with distinction. Griffin Patrick Meehan. <laughs> A 
Alexi Juanita Mejia, graduate with distinction. Caitlin Alexis Michaels. Javier Patricio Morales. Andrew Hader Muchnik, graduate with distinction. Flora Thomas Nolan, graduate with distinction. Flora's diploma will be presented to her by her mother, board member Emma Thomas Nolan. Odin O'Callaghan. Anne Sophie Oakes, graduate with distinction. Jacqueline Samantha Oberfeld, graduate with distinction, Cum Laude Society. Sarah Marie Ohanesian, graduate with distinction, cum laude society, salutatorian. <laughs> Riley Jane Owens is not able to be with us tonight, but we send her our love and congratulations. Owen Izzy Pallenberg, graduate with distinction, Cum Laude Society. Avery Roger Palmer, graduate with distinction. Angelina Rose Papa, graduate with distinction, Cum Laude Society, Student Council President, Highlander Award. Irene Park, graduate with distinction. Amelia Catherine Kuhara Patrick, graduate with distinction. <laughs> Ka 
Catherine Elizabeth Pendley, 13-year student. Adriel Wesley Perez, graduate with distinction, Cum Laude Society. Luke Scott Pollard, graduate with distinction. <laughs> Skylar Kaplan Quinn, graduate with distinction. Melanie Jane Rabishaw, graduate with distinction, Cum Laude Society. Anushka Chloe Redding. Sachi Paulina Redig, 13 year student, graduate with distinction. Landon Arthur Richardson. <laughs> Tyreek Scott Robinson, 13 year student, Graduate with distinction. Cooper by forty Samuels. Harrison August Bernhausen Sanger, 13 year student, graduate with distinction, Cum Laude Society. Cameron Jan Schlesinger, graduate with distinction. Cameron's diploma will be presented to him by his father, board member, Michael Schlesinger. Lily Sybil Serber. Jonah Samuel Baramida Shalman, 13 year student. Jonah's diploma will be presented to him by his father, board chairman John Shalman. Jacob George Schur, graduate with distinction. <laughs> J. 
Jamil Muhammad Ali Shivji, graduate with distinction. Cameron Scott Simmons, 13-year student, graduate with distinction. Chris Song, graduate with distinction, cum laude society. Sila Francis Serapis, 13-year student, graduate with distinction. Kara Brooke Stark, 13-year student, graduate with distinction, cum laude society. Sophia May Stefan is unable to be with us this evening, but we send her our congratulations and our love. Ashley, Ashley Elizabeth Stokels. Asher Ronan Stolberg, graduate with distinction. Samuel James Strong, graduate with distinction, cum laude society, community of honor award. Sam is unable to be with us this evening, but we send him our love and congratulations. Ava Dominga Suman, 13 year student, graduate with distinction, is also unable to be with us this evening, but we send her our congratulations and our love. Lila Grace Susak, graduate with distinction, Viking Spirit Award. Jacqueline Yuki Sweeney, 13 year student, graduate with distinction. Shane Campbell Thompson, graduate with distinction. Noel Catherine Trageser, graduate with distinction. Ryan J. Trunkett, graduate with distinction. Cody Tiffany Houston, graduate with distinction. Alejandra Idani Velasquez, 13 year student, graduate with distinction. Oh. 
Zayamani Nicole Vishudenham, graduate with distinction. Becky Wang, graduate with distinction, Cum Laude Society, Community of Honor Award, Caledonian Award. Jack Charles Weinberger, graduate with distinction. Ian Lawrence Weiss, 13 year student. Ian's diploma will be presented to him by his mother, Board Emeritus Jan Weiss. Emerita. John Markham Wells. Caroline May Wyatt, graduate with distinction. Quinton Talton Wilson. Ryan Matthew Wollaston, 13 year student, graduate with distinction. Connor Allen Woods Tutson, graduate with distinction. Dashiell Wingate Zam, graduate with distinction. Abby Kate Zoldan, graduate with distinction. Campbell Hall community, family and friends, I am proud to present to you the graduates of the Campbell Hall class of 2020.
To the class of 2020 and those who love them, to the faculty, staff, board, and benefactors of Campbell Hall, God's benediction to you and to the whole world during these times, unlike any other times, is to stick to the tried and true, the things that have always worked all the time. Be gentle with yourselves and with one another. Hold fast to the only thing that really works, which is love. Trust in the future into which this historic class now confidently steps. Stay close to the light they shine. And may the abundant blessing of the God who creates, the God who sustains, the God who saves, and the God who loves everyone and everything God has made be with you and those you love this day and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us at the Rose Bowl. Please stay in your cars until you're directed to leave by a staff member. Congratulations, class of 2020.